Hi, my name is Peter Manson and I've been working with Hill Country Farmers in Hawke's Bay for many years. One of those farmers is Dave Reed, and Dave specialises in pollarding willows. Dave, tell me, how long have you been doing that for? Probably about 15 years, Peter. And what do you see as the main benefits of growing and pollarding willows? The main benefits of growing the willows for me is the fodder in a drought, is erosion control and probably shade. And the main reasons for pollarding to manage the size of the tree and produce feed for stock in the dry as we are now. And also in the winter, I cut my own poles. Safety first for pollarding willows. There are two main safety issues here. Firstly, working from a height, and secondly, using chainsaws. The essential thing is to have a centre grip chainsaw right. um, that's more balanced if you're holding in one hand. I mean, whenever you can use two hands, two hands is better, but you will be using one hand sometimes. You must be a competent and experienced chainsaw user to be safe in this operation. Is there anything else, Dave? Um, Peter, I think really you need to have a protocol, right. have thought about things, and especially when you're training other people, you need to go through that protocol, you need to revisit it each year because it's something you only do occasionally. There's some very important personal protective equipment that must be worn on this job. Firstly, steel cap leather boots. Secondly, a quality pair of chaps. And thirdly, a helmet with visor and earmuffs. The first aid kit should be fully equipped. Two compression bandages, sunscreen, very importantly, water bottle for hydration, fire extinguisher, since we're working in the summer, tool kit for the chainsaw, top handle chainsaw, and a ladder with tethering line. Is there anything else, Dave, that we should consider? Yes, Peter, um, it's a, essential to have a second person on site. Normally there's two of us cutting, and if that's not possible, I'll take a non-cutting person as a, as a spotter, and occasionally that person is gonna be chasing cows away when they get over zealous. Dave, obviously you've pollarded this tree before. Can you tell us a little bit about how you've managed this tree to date? Okay, Peter, when they're young, take out any middle stuff, try and establish a wine glass shape with the branches, and that will produce a safe platform to work on in all subsequent pollardings. What are the things you need to check out before you start? Okay, I'm gonna look at where I'm gonna place my ladder, I'm probably going to take off some of these little bits of rubbish before I put my ladder up. While I'm on the ground, I'm going to look up and see potentially which way the branches are all going to fall. And then when I get my ladder up, I'm going to clean out the inside of the wine glass of all those little tiny twigs that are potentially going to trip you up when you're in there. Dave uses the chain brake whenever he's moving around the tree. He clips the saw to his belt and uses both hands when climbing. He will make sure he's always got good footholds and he's well balanced in the tree and he's methodical and steady. The key message is don't rush. You'll notice that Dave's using a top handle forestry saw. In this case, it's an electric saw. Dave cuts some branches high to get better control for felling, and then he'll trim them back to the right level afterwards. Willow fodder is highly nutritious, as good as Lucy and hay. Dave says it's a true supplement to summer pasture. When I asked him how much feed he gets from his willows, he said that currently, a tree harvested every five years can supply enough feed for 10 cows per day. Pollarding is a great way to provide a guaranteed supply of high quality feed for livestock at critical times of the year, such as in dry summers. Those same trees, however, also provide benefits of soil conservation and shade for livestock. Safety is paramount. You must be an experienced chainsaw user and have the appropriate equipment. The other thing is you must have another person on site.